The next algorithm that we are going to learn is called the Caesar cipher. Caesar cipher will take in two parameters, a string and a number. The objective of our Caesar cipher algorithm is to shift every letter in our given string by the number that is passed in. So, for example, if we passed in the string zookeeper and the number 2, we should get the string bqqmggrgt returned because the letter z shifted forward two places in the alphabet is the letter b, and as you can tell, it loops around from the end of the alphabet back to the beginning. The next two letters, O, shifted forward two places in the alphabet, are both now the letter Q. The space between the words we keep the same. The letter K shifted forward two places in the alphabet becomes the letter M. The letter E shifted forward two places in the alphabet becomes a G, and so on. Every letter in the original string is shifted by the value of the number passed in. And as you can tell, by our letter Z changing into a B. If you are shifting a letter and wind up at the end of the alphabet, you must loop around to the beginning of the alphabet and continue shifting the letter from there. The last thing that our Caesar cipher algorithm will do is it will be able to handle negative numbers. So along with shifting each character of our string forward in the alphabet, we should also be able to shift each character of our string backward in the alphabet if a negative number is passed in. And that is how our Caesar cipher algorithm will function. Let's code it out in the next video.